Say it with me. Fingerboard video. Gotcha. You thought it was gonna be Friday, but no. It is Friday, but it is also Fingerboard Friday. So welcome back to another Fingerboard Friday video. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. A couple months ago, we made this out of wood and it is basically a fingerboard A-frame. And I really like this obstacle to be honest, but wood is definitely not the easiest material to work with or the easiest to get your hands on. So today, I will be making this exact same thing, but out of cardboard. So all you need to do to summon cardboard in is just do a kickflip. See, pretty easy. Whoa. So now we have our cardboard, which is right here. So now we need to trace on what our design is gonna look like. So with this piece of cardboard, I'm gonna use this for the edge pieces, like the pieces like right here. So in order to get this design on here, I'm gonna do the most complex way you could possibly do it. Trace it on. So because we are not using wood, I mean, I guess technically we are because cardboard is basically just really tiny wood fibers. Anyways, but because wood is not strong when it's in this form, we are going to need three of these pieces. So right now I have two, so now we just need one more and we're gonna put one in the middle, one on the outside and one on the other outside. So my idea for cutting this top piece out that will go over our A-frame is going to be lay this down here, trace that part, tip it over, trace the other part, and then we have the perfect piece to fit over the entire thing. And then we can make a little crease so it just folds perfectly. So that's the idea, but we'll see if it works.
So what I was doing there was I took this just as a straight edge and I put it on one side, kind of did a cut on an angle across, did the same on the other side. So now I have this and then this folds perfectly in our A-frame shape. So quite a few of you are probably familiar with that classic look of a wooden ramp like this, and it has metal on the bottom like that. So what I'm going to do is I thought I had gray cardstock, but I only have white, but it'll still look pretty cool. Just have a little strip of white at the base like that, and that'll also provide a nice smooth transition up to the ramp. So this is now complete and I'm honestly super happy with the result. Like compared to the original, it actually looks very similar except for the color, but everything about it just looks and feels the same. So to be honest, this project was way simpler than I thought it was going to be, especially for how good it actually looks. Once you slap your Black River stickers on it, it'll be worth like $50. But yeah, this was really simple to do and I'm really happy with how it turned out and I am really glad that I added these parts on the bottom. It just gives it a really nice look. But ideally I would have had silver cardstock so it would look more like metal, but hey, it's white so it still looks good. <laughs> So that wraps up this week's Fingerboard Friday video. So subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on the next one. And also go ahead and watch some of my other ones because I've done some pretty incredible builds in the past. So go check those out. And with all that being said, thanks for watching this video. 
subscribe button is over there if you are new. Two more videos down there, one over there, one down there. All my social media links are in the description down below, so go check those out if you have the time, and I will see you in my next video.